Hello guys, Mr. Peace the Biscuit here, and it's been it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, I've just been super busy with just stuff all the time, but I finally sort of pushed myself to find time, I'm trying to paint at least half an hour every day. Just trying to get back into it, and I'm enjoying it quite a lot again. So I figured I'd do an update on what's going on. So I've got various models of different stages of completion. Um, this is the scheme I'll show you something that's near finished and get a better idea. So um, all that's happened here is it's been spray painted in army paint yellow. Then we've had a quick wash over it to try and give it some depth. Hopefully the camera picks up, you know, you can see the difference in sort of the colour, the tone that's present once it's been washed. It, it's a very dry sort of um, dull, almost browning kind of colour before you wash it and it gets a bit more depth with more sort of orangey yellow makes it look a bit more interesting and then we've got one that's just a bit further ahead um, we've, I've only just started putting the black on this I only spent about 15 minutes on it yesterday getting the first layer of black down in some areas and obviously I've ignored these spines because they're going to be in a different colour to make them pop up a bit so those are things I've been doing recently and then things are near finished and 90% finished uh, he's a bit tall but um Obviously a trigon. The camera doesn't pick it up too well. There is a fade uh, in these talons from a black to a grey. I didn't want to take it too far because I, I quite like how it stands out subtly from a little while away. You can just about see it. I, it looks a bit more natural than sort of if I went straight to white or straight to a bright grey. Um, the edge eye lighting is a bit thick. It's a bit bold. It's almost a bit poppy. Um, so it's kind of almost a comedic colour to it. But I think it looks cool. It's, um, you know, if you saw a creature like this in the wild, it'd be very clear that it was dangerous. It's bright yellow. And I think, you know, black is just yellow and black is that combination. You see danger. Uh, you see it just in creatures everywhere. So it's kind of like um, hornets. Uh, it's based off a scheme. I'll throw up some pictures of a scheme. That, well, two schemes that inspired me. Um, and they're both, I believe, based off hornets that are native to America. So it's looking kind of around with it a bit differently. I mean, there's plenty of things that still need doing on here. I need to highlight this the inners of it to make them pop a bit. And there's plenty of stuff that needs cleaning up where I've gone over. But I'm not even fixing all the yellow patch up till later because, as we all know, painting yellow on top of any colours are like pain. Um, so it's something I'm quite happy with this just because move these it's it's just a huge it's just very striking to me so there's quite a lot going on in this mouth feedy bit so um it's a blend of colors from back to front obviously going to a lighter color near the front and then i washed the back and then i started changing from wash to glaze so the colour was a bit more vivid and then I went over it again with some uh, oh, which, it's um, love room blue and sort of just picked out some of the raised areas to try and give it a bit more colour so uh, there's still plenty of stuff got the same grey grading going on on the claws but there's still plenty of stuff to pick out on here and the camera's really good at it gives me an idea of stuff I can't see straight away like here the camera I can see this needs anything up so uh, cameras are actually really helpful in making me pick up mistakes and stuff, but I think, I think this is super cool. Unfortunately, he's not that good on the table, but he's he's such a fun sculpt that I'm cool having one. Now this, this guy is by far the biggest pain in the ass of a model I've ever had to deal with. He's um, just difficult to glue and difficult to paint. So I was, on, I was on the 40k Reddit and someone had done this thing where they had uh, almost like the way that some people do the carapace, they uh, do the lines. And he did it, and I thought, because uh, this is just black wings for the longest time, and although it, look, it looked impressive, like, from a fly with big black wings spread out, this kind of just gives it a little something. It makes it slightly more interesting, although when he's flat down on the table, it's not that noticeable. It's enough just to be a bit more interesting. I haven't done it on the back for the simple reason that the way the wings curve, I just don't think it'd look as nice. But, um, yeah, this is probably one of the models that needs the most. Uh, going back on, looking at and picking out but he was difficult to try and bring out more colour because there was just sort of like the armour and the wings were the only two colours so I had to pick out areas that I decided I was going to do in this blue just to try and make him pop a bit and try and make him a bit more interesting. 
but it, it's I think it's looking good. I, I like how the skins look. I don't know how it's going to look on Gaunt or some of the other bigger monsters creatures, but I think it's going well. I'm quite I'm enjoying myself. Um, but I've, I'm finding it difficult to get back into painting, even though I didn't take that long of a break from painting. I was still painting. I probably took two months off, but I started doing a lot more drawing instead. And I think drawing actually takes away from painting because it's quite it's very different. It's because you can arrange and change things so much more easily. You become a bit bit more slacking with it, so um, it becomes becomes uh, sort of like oh, you just go a bit wishy washy with the painting, and it leads to mistakes such as if you can see places where I've run over onto the wings here which are going to be a right pain to fix later but you know it's a labour of love it's just a lot of work so um I was meant to keep this quick but I've run it on a little bit so thanks for watching I'm going to be back um probably next update will be when these tergons and they're finished and then I'm going to start working on troops and uh We'll see how it progresses from there. So uh, thanks for sticking with me, everyone who's still here. And hopefully I'll see you again far sooner than I did this time. So thanks, and uh, I'll see you again next time.